Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to look at the NBA free agency uh, where the top five players from every position will sign. So pretty much, guys, this is an article by Lee Steffens here. Uh, I am going to say if I agree or disagree. If I disagree, I'll think. I'll try to think of a better team on the spot um, or where that player should go over to. Now, guys, if you enjoy these NBA discussions, go subscribe to my second channel, guys. Extra Crispy means so much to me, guys. Takes one second out of your day. And uh, pretty much, guys, I'm really trying to grow my second channel just because I do a lot of NBA discussions over there. And when that channel hits 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a bitch-ass silver plaque play button giveaway. Yes, I will be giving away my play button, guys, to one of you to show my support of you guys on my channel and everything like that. So uh, let's get started on this video right here. So the first one we have is point guards. Um, number 25, Isaiah Thomas. And it says, possible destination, the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, I don't think this would be a bad thing for the Lakers just because, like, um, it would need to come down to uh, pretty much Isaiah Thomas saying, okay, I will be a six-man because, real, well, I don't know, man, because the team wants to get LeBron James, and you think LeBron James wants to play with Isaiah Thomas again? Probably not. So I don't know if this is a good fit or not. I'd personally like to see him go to a team like the Pelicans uh, where he could be a big-time scorer alongside the two-headed monster of DeMarcus Cousins and also Anthony Davis. Uh, next up, we got Wesley Matthews, and it says possible destination of San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, he just seems like one of those like Danny Green-esque players that would just fit nicely in the uh, San Antonio Spurs system. You know, knock down some three-pointers, play some defense, and that's about it. Not going to do nothing too crazy. And um, not to mention, too, that the dude has like a $19 million contract, so hopefully he would get a better contract or a more realistic one than that. All right, next up we got... Okay, so I don't think this is like an order of like best players or something because they got the freaking LeBron James listed as 23. So I don't know what he meant by that. But yeah, it says LeBron James, possible destination, Philadelphia 76ers. I don't know, man. I kind of like what the 76ers are doing so far this season. I don't think they quite need LeBron James. I think they need, they need to stick it out with what they have. Um, I mean, yeah, if LeBron James would come to that team without them having to like, you know, get rid of any assets to make the signing happen like Robert Covington, then it's like, okay, you obviously do it. But at the same time, it's just like, you know, trust the process. You guys won 40 games plus games this NBA season. LeBron James is going to get old eventually and stop somewhat playing at a high level. Hopefully. I mean, probably not. But um, I don't know, guys. I, I feel like I don't know if I want him to go to Philadelphia 76ers. I would definitely watch that team. It would just feel kind of weird. Uh, next up, we got Julius Randle. And it says possible destination, the Los Angeles Lakers. Yeah, pretty much um, around the trade deadline, there was talks of like Julius getting traded over to the Dallas Mavericks. I think that's where he's from. Uh, he's from Dallas growing up and stuff. Uh, but all of a sudden, he's just playing like an absolute like potentially amazing power forward like this dude that could actually become an all-star in the nba now we don't really know what type of players uh, the lakers are going to be going for this nba offseason they're going to try to get paul george on their team just because you know if you go for a paul george who plays small four you already have ingram on the team too who's going to probably need to shift to a shooting guard uh we got kuzma on the team who i guess could potentially be a, a really good six man but i like him as a starter uh julius randall's like yeah he, de he definitely could play center of this nba it's just is that really going to beat a team like the houston rockets or golden state warriors not really sure uh, but I guess with that being said, I mean, Kuzma probably could be a six-man. I don't know how Lakers fans would feel about that. So, yeah. Next up, we got DeAndre Jordan. Possible destination, the Clippers. No. He's not going to go back. He's not going back to the Clippers, guys. That team is going to be rebuilding. Um, I want to see him go to a team like the Washington Wizards, play a John Wall and Bradley Beal. It doesn't make much sense, in my opinion, for him to go back to the Clippers just because, like, what's going to happen? They're not going to win a championship. So, why not just, like, start blowing up things a little bit and try to go in a better direction? I don't like that idea. Uh, we got Chris Paul, possible destination, the Houston Rockets. Yeah, I mean, the backcourt of Chris Paul and James Harden has been working out phenomenally. Um, who knows how the Warriors team is going to look in a season or two. I really do think that Chris Paul found himself a home on the Houston Rockets, uh, probably for the rest of his NBA career. Although, I mean, there would be a lot of other, like, fun teams to go back to. Like, the Pelicans would be cool just because, like, he used to play for the, uh, you know, New Orleans Hornets and stuff like that. So, I don't think that's ever going to happen, though. Shooting guard, Avery Bradley, possible destination, the OKC Thunder. This is actually a perfect fit because um, Avery Bradley is pretty much an Andre Roberson. Just he can actually shoot the basketball. So, yeah, him at the shooting guard position with Russell Westbrook. Uh, that's a perfect fit. I actually, I absolutely love that one. Next up, we got Kevin Durant, possible destination, the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, don't broke if it or don't fix it if it ain't broke. Uh, I mean, he already pretty much said he wants to retire as a Warrior. So, I've accepted but at this point, man. Like, I will say, if he actually wins a, cha wins a championship without Stephen Curry, uh, I will respect him and everything like that. But, I mean, he's not going to leave the Warriors. He likes it there too much. Aaron Gordon. We got the Indiana Pacers. You know what? Aaron Gordon, Miles Turner, Victor Oladipo. Uh, in a few seasons, that is a damn dangerous team in the Eastern Conference. I mean, even next season, that team is probably pretty damn dangerous. I actually like that fit a lot. Yeah, Aaron Gordon. Go to the Pacers. That's just what be fun to watch. Um... 
Hopefully, they can get themselves a better point guard. I'm not saying Darren Collison is bad, but he's going to be like 32 next season. So, I would like to see more of a, you know, more of a younger-esque point guard, athletic point guard. Kind of wrong with the young bloods out there. Uh, next up, we have DeMarcus Cousins, possible destination, the Pelicans. Yeah, I, I don't know if he's going to get that max contract offer or not. I really do think NBA teams are going to want to see him play, uh, you know, back from that, from that injury and everything. But... I still think DeMarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis, if you know they both would have stayed healthy all NBA season, uh, was going to be very dangerous in the NBA playoffs. I mean, Anthony Davis by himself has been pretty dangerous, but uh, you add Cousins to the mix and, you know, with the right point guard and Drew Holiday that's been playing one of the most underrated point guards in the NBA. This guy's been doing great things. Um, then, yeah, all of a sudden that team is beasting. So I think he, I, I definitely think he needs to stay on the Pelicans. Next up, we got Tyreek Evans, possible destination Portland Trailblazers. Yeah, you put him at that uh, small forward position alongside CJ McCollum, Damian Lillard. All of a sudden, you got three-headed scoring beasts. You got Nurkic, who does get dunked on a lot, but, I mean, still a good NBA center. So, yeah, Tyreek Evans, I like him going to the Portland Trailblazers. Have nothing wrong with that. Um, assuming they don't give him a bitch-ass contract, which is something that Portland is notorious for doing in the NBA offseason. Zach Levine, Chicago Bulls. Yeah, I agree with this one, too. I, I don't see him going anywhere else. I don't really see a reason for him to go anywhere else. I mean, on the Bulls, he really gets to... Uh, uh, be, you know, the main guy on that team alongside more uh, Laurie Markkinen. Uh, the team is going to get a good draft pick, probably a Michael Porter Jr., maybe a DeAndre Ayton or Marvin Bagley. So, yeah, just also got to trust the process on the Chicago Bulls. And uh, Zach Levine um, looks like he's playing great basketball, you know, despite his bad injury at last NBA season. So, good with that one, too. Next up, we got Jabari Parker, Chicago Bulls. Um, I don't know how I like this fit here because, yeah, he would be a nice fit there if he could play the small forward position. Uh, I think he is, you know, because he's, he's a bit chunky. I don't want to say chunky, but he's more, more bulky uh, where he is more of a power forward in this day and age in the NBA. And I don't like Laurie Markkinen at the center. I like him more as a power forward. So, I mean, if he slimmed down a little bit and could play small forward, yeah, it would be a nice fit. I don't know if he's going to because he's not really the most amazing shooter out there. So, uh, I don't know. I, Jabari Parker, I don't think he should go back to the Bucks. I don't know if that's his best fit either. Um, I can't really think of a team off the top of my head that's like, oh my god, like, yeah, Jabari Parker, go over here. Maybe with the Miami Heat, him and Hassan Whiteside with, uh, you know, Deion Waiters, Dwayne Wade, Goran Dragic. So, I guess that's a fit. Uh, next up, we got Derek Favors. Possible destination, Utah Jazz. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, if you all think it works there, if you all Jazz fans like Derek Favors, that's fine. I just don't know how Derek Favors fits in the NBA these days. It's just, he, he doesn't seem like a player that can play the four and that would be like the optimal move. Uh, but at the same time, it's like the Jazz are playing good basketball, so maybe he will stay on that team. Uh, Ennis Cantor, a possible destination New York Knicks. Um, I have nothing against it. I mean, do you guys, okay, you as Knicks fans, do you feel like Ennis Cantor and Chris Tiles Porzingis, is, is, is this the center you want alongside him? I know we can rebound, pretty good score. Defense, not the greatest. Um, I still like the idea of maybe like a DeAndre Jordan going to the Knicks just because. I want to see how Chris Thomas plays along the side like a big time rebound defensive oriented center, but Ennis Cantor, you know, that's like a bad, that's like a plan B. It's not that bad of a plan B. Alfred Payton, Phoenix Suns. It looks like he found a home on the Suns, guys. Now this team goes off and, tra and drafts like a Trey Young or somebody like that. Then things might get a little bit kind of sketchy over there because Alfred Payton might be a little bit on the you know feeling salty about that. But uh, yeah, he's playing like a player that he's like Oladipo, where Oladipo left the Magic. And then all of a sudden became a really good basketball player. I mean, he was good on the Magic, but, you know, I guess on the Thunder, he had Westbrook and stuff, so that didn't really help his case. But, yeah, now the Indiana Pacers, Old Depot's a beast. It looks like Alpha Payne might actually be a beast point guard on the Phoenix Suns. J.J. Reddick, we got Philadelphia 76ers. Um, perfect player for that team at the shooting guard position. I mean, knocks down three-pointers. I guess if, you know, if needed, you know, if LeBron James came to that team, Markel Fultz decided to be a beast, um, then, yeah, I guess you could run, like, Ben Simmons at point guard, and then you could run uh, probably Mark Hill's Fultz at shooting guard. But I think Mark Hill will probably be a backup next season. J.J. Reddick will probably be the starter of that team. Uh, we got Paul George, Los Angeles Lakers. I don't know, man. How do you all think Paul George and Ingram play on a team together? Like, do you think Paul George would probably be the shooting guard? Because I know you used to play for the Pacers, like, back when they had Danny Granger, so it could work out. Um, but, yeah, if you have a chance to get Paul George, you obviously take it. Miritich. Pelicans or Raptors? I don't like him on the I don't like him on the Raptors that much because they already have Sergi Baca, so that doesn't really seem like a good fit. Unless he played small four, I think he's a little bit too slow for that, especially defensively. Um, on the Pelicans, they kind of got him as like, like a replacement since Demarcus Cousins was down with injury. But I mean, he could come back on that team and play small four, bring some shooting to that team, or be a really good six man. Clint Capella, Houston Rockets. Yeah, I mean, you're playing great alongside Chris Paul and James Harden. It's like you're freaking getting. It's like a damn buffet out there, man. Like, you just got to line up. You don't get your food out there, man, because y'all know that Chris Paul and James Harden is going to feed you that basketball. So, I don't see any reason for them to get ready to click Capella. Rajon Rondo, Los Angeles Clippers. Um, I don't really know how I feel about this. I mean, I, 
yeah, I guess whoever wants Ronald, y'all can have him. I don't really know. I don't really have like a good team saying like, yeah, Ronald's a beast. He absolutely needs to be on this team. Um, I guess it'll be maybe fun to see him go back to the Boston Celtics, be a backup point guard. I don't know what the relationship is like with him and the Celtics management. That'd be kind of cool, I suppose. Uh, Will Barton. D yeah, ooh, I will take some Will Barton on my Detroit Pistons, guys. He's 6'6". He's a good shooter. The Pistons need shooting. Come to the team, man. I would absolutely love you there. Or even, you know, bitch-ass uh, Stanley Johnson can sit the bench. You can start at small forward. I'll take you over him at this point. Camaro Anthony, OKC Thunder. Especially if Paul George leaves in. It's like, yeah, we got to find a way to keep Melo on this team. More shots to be open for him. Um, do you guys think that Melo is going to retire as a member of the OKC Thunder? I really don't know what other team he would go to. I guess there was talks with the Houston Rockets before. But um, I don't know, man. Like him and Anthony, that's you know, pretty solid out there. Michael Beasley got him staying on the New York Knicks. Obviously, as a six man, so don't really got too much to say about Michael Beasley. He just kind of is what he is. Now he's not a starter. He's not a starting caliber player on a winning team, but he is a really good bench player on a winning team. So I'd be fine with that. We got Nurkic back to the Portland Trail Blazers, 23 year old center. Uh, it says averaging 14 points, eight rebounds, and it says it's not really screaming max contract. But with that being said, man, he can play some defense. You can come to a pretty nice deal out there. Uh, only being 23, like who knows what this guy could develop into. But yeah, so that is the final player on this list. I don't think this was like, you know, what, what, what was the title of this? It was, uh, let me go back up here. Where the top five players from every position will sign. I don't really don't know what the order was in this. It seemed kind of like discombobulated or whatever. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about these players going to these teams. Uh, what are some good ones? What are some bad ones? Thank you guys all so much for watching. Who are you really hoping your team signs in the NBA offseason? And don't forget, guys, link to my second channel in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. And peace out, my friends.